What if the next DJI FPV drone doesn't just fly faster, but completely changes how FPV content is created forever? Because right now, something unusual is happening behind the scenes. Leaks are stacking up. Prototype sightings are increasing. Insider chatter is getting louder. And for the first time in years, even experienced FPV pilots don't agree on what DJI is about to launch next. Some believe it's the DJI Avita 3, a refined, faster, more powerful evolution of the Avita we already know. Others are convinced DJI is preparing something far more radical, a drone that doesn't just record what's in front of it, but everything around it. A drone many are calling the Avita 360. And this uncertainty alone is what makes this upcoming release so important. Normally, DJI launches are predictable. Better motors, slightly better camera, a bit more flight time. But this time, nothing feels safe. Nothing feels incremental. It feels like DJI is standing at a crossroads. One path leads to the ultimate cinematic FPV drone. The other leads to a brand new category that could redefine FPV flight entirely. To understand why this matters, we need to look at how the Avita series earned its reputation in the first place. When the original Avita launched, it changed FPV forever. Not because it was the fastest, not because it was the most aggressive, but because it made FPV accessible. Duct propellers meant safety. Stabilization meant usable footage. Crash resistance meant confidence. And intuitive controls meant beginners could experience FPV without months of practice. Avida didn't target hardcore racers. It targeted creators, filmmakers, travelers, YouTubers, and people who wanted the FPV experience without the fear. That strategy worked. It pulled thousands of new pilots into FPV who would never have touched a manual drone before. Then Avida, too, arrived. And instead of reinventing the formula, DJI refined it. Stronger motors, better efficiency, cleaner footage, improved controllers, smooth handling. It was safer, faster, more polished. But now, expectations have shifted again. Modern FPV pilots want speed, real speed. Creators want footage that holds up in low light. Professionals want dynamic range that can survive color grading. And DJI knows this, which is why the biggest leak surrounding the Avita 3 is so shocking. Multiple sources are pointing toward a possible one-inch camera sensor. And if that sounds extreme, it is. A larger sensor changes everything. Dynamic range improves instantly. Shadows become cleaner. Noise drops dramatically in low light. Motion blur looks more natural. And suddenly, FPV footage stops looking like action camera footage and starts looking cinematic. If DJI actually introduces a one-inch sensor into its FPV lineup, it would be a turning point for the entire industry. FPV creators would no longer need external cameras. No more compromises. No more awkward mounting. No more mismatched footage. Everything would be built in, balanced, stabilized, and optimized for flight. Now imagine DJI pairing that sensor with advanced codecs. Higher bit rates, log profiles, and frame rates like 4K at 120 frames per second. That combination would allow FPV footage to be used in commercials, documentaries, professional YouTube productions, and even broadcast work. Suddenly, FPV wouldn't just be exciting. It would be professional. But the camera is only half the story. Because speed is where FPV truly comes alive. And this is where Avida 3 rumors get aggressive. There are whispers of top speeds approaching 140 kilometers per hour. That's insane for a ducted FPV drone. That's territory usually reserved for open prop racing builds. To reach those speeds, DJI would need redesigned propellers, improved aerodynamics, stronger motors, and far better cooling. And leaks suggest that's exactly what's happening. Improved airflow through the frame, reduced turbulence, lower vibration, and smoother stability at full throttle. This would dramatically improve chase footage, automotive shots, high-speed tracking, and cinematic dives, especially for creators who want motion without chaos, speed without instability, power without sacrifice. Battery technology is another major focus. Insider discussions suggest a higher capacity intelligent battery that could exceed 3,000 milliamp hours. For FPV, that's massive. That could push flight times close to 25 or even 30 minutes depending on the mode. And lunge. Our flight time doesn't just mean more footage. It means more confidence, more practice, 
and fewer battery swaps. For beginners, it means less pressure. For professionals, it means longer takes. And for everyone, it means more freedom in the air. Transmission upgrades are also heavily rumored. A refined digital system with lower latency, stronger penetration, better resistance to interference, and more stable connections in urban environments, forests, and indoor spaces. If DJI deploys a next-generation protocol, FPV reliability could reach a level we've never seen before. Pair that with next-generation FPV goggles, higher resolution displays, wider field of view, improved eye tracking, and lower motion to photon latency. And suddenly, the FPV experience becomes deeper, more immersive, more natural. From a design perspective, leaked renders suggest DJI is staying true to the duct sinew hook philosophy. Lightweight, compact, durable, but refined, better airflow, improved cooling, reinforced ducts, and stronger structural integrity. Designed to survive crashes, designed to keep flying. But then there's the other path, the path that changes everything. Because not all leaks point toward Avita 3. Some point toward something far more radical. A drone built around 360-degree video capture. Dual lenses. Full environmental awareness. Footage that can be reframed in post-production. No need to aim the camera mid-flight. No fear of missing the shot. If Avita 360 is real, it wouldn't just be an FPV drone with a different camera. It would be a creative revolution. Pilots could focus entirely on flight. On motion. On speed and worry about framing later. Content creators could extract multiple angles from a single flight. Vertical clips, horizontal clips, wide shots, close-ups, all from one take. This would blur the line between FPV drones and action camera ecosystems. And it would open FPV to an entirely new audience. Social media creators, travel vloggers, virtual tour creators, and filmmakers who want freedom without precision flying. Design-wise, this would require a completely different frame. Dual camera placement, reinforced structure, balanced weight distribution, and advanced stabilization. It would look different, fly different, and feel different. Safety features may also see a major upgrade. Some leaks suggest full 360-degree obstacle sensing for FPV flight. If true, this would be an industry first. FPV drones traditionally rely on pilot skill, not sensors. But if DJI integrates intelligent obstacle awareness, FPV could become safer without losing excitement. Enhanced return to home logic, smarter fail safes, improved subject tracking, gesture based controls, and refined motion controller input could all play a role, especially as global regulations become stricter. Remote ID, geofencing, and compliance requirements are shaping drone design more than ever. Pricing speculation suggests DJI will try to stay competitive. A base package around $800 to $1,000 feels realistic. Fly more combos with extra batteries, upgraded controllers, and goggles could push pricing toward $1,200 or even $1,500. Especially if premium hardware like a 1-inch sensor or a 360-degree camera system is included. Release timing remains uncertain. Early rumors pointed toward mid-2025. That window has passed. More reliable sources now suggest late 2025 or early 2026, which aligns better with DJI's FPV product cycles, especially if two designs are being tested internally. And that's what makes this story so fascinating. Some leaked prototypes appear to show two distinct designs, two philosophies, two futures, one focused on pure cinematic FPV performance the other focused on creative freedom through 360 capture. DJI could launch one, or both. They could position Avita 3 as the performance upgrade, and Avita 360 as the creative experiment. Or they could merge the concepts into a single flagship product that surprises everyone. And that's the real question. Is DJI about to redefine FPV flight once again? Or are they about to create something no one fully expects? One thing is certain. The next DJI FPV drone will not be boring. It will not be incremental, and it will not be ignored. Whether you're a beginner, a professional, or someone watching from the sidelines, this launch will shape the future of FPV. And as more leaks surface, one truth becomes clear. DJI isn't just upgrading hardware. They're redefining the experience. Eh. So if you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share this video with fellow FPV fans. And hit the bell icon so you don't miss what happens next.
Because when DJI finally reveals the truth, you'll want to be ready. And in my opinion, if DJI delivers either Avita 3 or Avita 360 as described, it won't just be the most important FPV drone of the year. It could be the most important FPV drone ever.